story time with Josh. <laughs> Every Saturday night for the last what, three years, I volunteered at this soup kitchen. It's called the House of Pain. The church decided to change the name, I think it was two years ago, and I came up with that, House of Pain. My, my idea got the most votes. I just thought it sounded kind of um, sad and spooky, kind of like the lives of all of these unfortunate souls that pile in there every weekend. And plus, I thought, I mean, it would sound really funny to actually hear a homeless person say to one of their homeless buddies, oh, I'm, I'm going to the house of pain, I need food. You know? I haven't actually seen one of them say it yet, but one of these days I'm going to make one of them say it on camera before I give them their bowl of soup, and I'll upload the footage here so all of you can, uh, all of you can laugh at it. Um, we serve up more than just soup in the House of Pain. We serve up uh, smiles, pats on the back, customized handshakes like the baseball players do, and uh, clean clothes for those who need it. Basically, we, we, we give these homeless people a false sense of hope, but only only for one night out of the week. Um, last weekend, Ethel, this uh, scraggly-looking woman, I can say she's probably in her mid-60s, she's from Arkansas. She came in, she got her usual bowl of uh, ultimate baked potato with bacon sprinkles, and she's sitting there lapping it up. And um, As I was massaging her shoulders, you know, so the food would just go down easier, she looks up at me and she says, Now I like that Cosmo bowling, where they turn all the lights off and your teeth turn blue. It's kind of exciting. It feels like, feels like the whole world fell apart and we're all dying. Like we're just floating around in space waiting to blow up. And I thought, okay, this is the perfect opportunity for me to make my intentions known. So I plant one on her lips. And would you believe it, she hit me in the forehead with the big wooden spoon that I'd given her to eat her soup. And she says, don't you do that. Don't you ever do that. You're not one of the young cuties anymore. I only date young cuties. So I walk back behind the counter where we serve the soup, and I, you know, I grab Lon Chaney Jr., the, uh, the low-functioning adult who helps serve the soup with us there, and I said to Lon, next time Ethel comes in here, you give her chopsticks to eat her soup with, and you make sure that, that soup's dangerously hot. You make sure it's like lawsuit hot, okay? And I mean, just knowing what was going to happen to Ethel kind of gave me some personal satisfaction, but, you know, deep down inside, I I knew she was right. I'm not, I'm not one of the young cuties anymore. Ever since I lost 100 pounds and shaved off my epic metal beard, as all of the, the wait staff at Buffalo Wild Wings used to call it, the ladies, they don't talk to me anymore. Probably because there's nothing sad and cruel in doing that to me anymore. Anyway, for more information on the imminent beating death of Ethel and how you can volunteer at the House of Pain, just visit shootmybloatedgermanlegstopieces.gov.